Hey guys, I thought that I would give you my thoughts on the PS5 DualSense controller. I've been playing with it for a couple of days now, played maybe six games all up now, and uh, some of them are new, some of them are cross-gen, some of them are backwards compatible games, and some of them are PS2 games. So let's talk about bug snacks. I mean, the DualSense. Just, uh, just a note, I actually won't be talking about bug stacks, bug stacks because I haven't actually played too much of it. I, I've literally played like the first five minutes and um, two minutes of that was like a cutscene. So now the biggest standout with the dual sense at the moment is Astro's Playroom and you've probably heard that from a lot of people. Now understand, I've been burned before, okay? When the Switch came out and everyone was like creaming their jeans for HD rumble, I was like, oh, that sounds fucking cool. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna love it. And then I got the Joy-Cons and it was just okay. Felt like a stronger vibration than the other vibrations in controllers. So obviously, when previews started coming out for the DualSense and everyone was going crazy for it, saying it was great, I was a little pessimistic, to say the least. Yeah, that sounds cool, but will it actually be as good as these people are saying it is? And it turns out, they weren't entirely lying this time. It does depend on the game though. And Astro's Playroom is like the big one. That It's the one that, that shows you all the features of the controller, you get to feel, the, the haptics, you get to feel the, the resistive adaptive triggers. You use the microphone, you use the touchpad, you use everything in this controller in Astro's Playroom. It's made as a tech demo for this controller. Obviously, if you're going to make a tech demo based around a device, you want it to be the best thing to show the device, you know? That makes sense. I don't say it the best, but it makes sense up in here. And as you've probably seen from a ton of demos already on YouTube, you boot up Astro's Playroom, it takes you through this sort of quick run through of all the features of the controller. You're thrown into playing the game and all of a sudden it's this like, I don't know, it's, it's just this, this strange sensation of everything you do in the game as the character, you can feel in the controller. And I can't just explain it, and that's the thing. It's the sort of thing you need to, to try yourself. And with, with COVID the way it is, and not a whole lot of stores having like demo units and things anymore, um, it's, it's hard for people to, to, to try it and, and see it for themselves. But what adds to the experience beyond just the, the haptics is the speaker because they work in tandem to, to try and deliver this experience of, of feeling what's happening in the game. In one of the first levels I did, there's a section with rain. It's raining and you can feel every like raindrop through the controller, just like tip, 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 tip. And it, the sound of the rain from the speaker combined with that really does give you the sensation of, uh, you know, rain inside the controller getting out or something. It's, it's very strange. And that was kind of the moment where I was like, oh, this is, this is really cool. But then they amp it up by showing you that it's, it's more than just this one kind of um, sensitivity or like strength of vibration whatever it is because the next part of the level it starts hailing and you and you and you feel that those sort of raindrops again but they're harder now it feels like hail the fact that the controller is capable of making you feel the difference between rain and hail that that was like that was the mind-blowing thing to me is that like uh, I, I have no idea what the technology is I know it's it's haptics and it uses sound to make the whatever it is the vibration 
But it's not like the dual sense or anything like that where it was just these two spinning motors that just made it vibrate. It, it feels like there's a bunch of different little motors in here making all the tippy 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 tippies, you know? You know? And it's not just, it's not just like tippy tippies that, that do it too. There, there's a part in Cooling Springs, which is, you know, again, they've been everywhere. But there's a part in Cooling Springs where you are ice skating. And the feeling of the ice, of, of like a blade going through ice, like if you were holding a blade and you like pushed it through ice, that's what it feels like. I'm trying not to get too hyperbolic here and, and I don't want to come off as not genuine because I, I literally am being genuine. I see people react like this to, to so many things on the internet. I'm like, that's not fucking real. That's, you're just overreacting for some reason. And so it's hard for me to do actually like act like happy and excited about this because I, you know, I'm usually pretty pessimistic, honestly. And this, this control is so fucking good. I, I don't, I don't know. And I haven't even talked about the triggers yet, which are also a huge part of the controller. Uh, you know, it's it's been said that, you know, you can feel the pulling of a bow. Um, and Astro's Playroom has a section with a bow and you totally, it just, it has, it has res resistance. Like right now, like, I'm just pressing it, I'm just, the clicky clicky regular regular old triggers but depending on the game and 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 what you're doing in the game it'll it'll just be harder to push or you it'll fight against you push itself outwards there are there there are so many uses for this and again astros is the best example of it but Another really good example I've had so far is with Dirt 5. Wasn't expecting Dirt 5 to really be like a showcase for the DualSense, uh, but it's it's one of the first racing games for the PS5, so if any racing game was gonna do it, it's probably this one, and it's pretty cool. So there's a, there's a few things with Dirt 5 playing with this. Uh, firstly, this, this just becomes harder to press and it feels like a, a an accelerator pedal. Uh, pushing down on an accelerator pedal with your foot translated to your finger. But it doesn't just stop there. If you drift or lose control of the car, you also lose traction with this. And if you, say, drive over some bumpy roads, this will bump. This, this, you can feel the bump in the triggers and it'll fight back against you. The brake is similar over here, doesn't quite fight back against you as much, but similar to the accelerator, if you're drifting or anything like that, you do lose a little bit of traction here in the brakes. And that's pretty fucking cool. I will say though, it's really just the triggers in Dirt 5 that that make this special. The vibration is, is nothing to write home about. Uh, it's, it's pretty standard kind of just vibration uh, you do kind of get a bit more feel of going over certain types of road but it's it's not it's nothing more than just standard kind of vibration feelings and those standard kind of vibration feelings then take us to the rest of the games I've played Spider-Man Remastered and Miles Morales I've tried both of them and the vibration is just kind of standard vibration. There's very subtle, if you, if you sort of just play with it, you can kind of feel like when he lets go of the web, you can c kind of feel it. It's kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm just trying to imagine more, more than what's actually there. But to me, it kind of feels like you're letting go of the web when he lets go. And the triggers, uh, you know, they 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 give them a little bit of resistance, but it's not, it doesn't do much to add to the experience. And then when you get to backwards compatible games, 
uh, like v Vice City, for example, which is as backwards compatible as you can get on a Sony system at the moment. There's there's not a whole lot to write home about. Yeah, you might as well be playing with the DualShock. It's it's pretty much the same. One other game I tested, if anyone knows me at all as a human being, of course, is Drive Club, because I had to for the memes. If you were worried about how Drive Club felt on the PS5, don't fret. It feels exactly the same. <laughs> Overall, this thing's amazing. I hope that the developers use it more than I'm seeing so far, but it's early days. It's, it's gonna go either one of two ways. It's either gonna be used really well or not used at all. So we'll see how that goes. And finally, you know, just overall like feeling of the controller, I really like it. It's, it's, it feels good in the hands. It's got a nice weight to it. Um, the D-pad feels good. The buttons, the buttons are a little mushy, I gotta say. That's sort of something people have been complaining about. I, I mean, I, I don't notice it when I'm playing, but you know, the DualShock 4, it's got a click. They're very clickable buttons. Where this is just, yeah, I don't know. There's, it's, it's not as defined a click. But you know, get used to it, I suppose. The analog sticks are good. They're not falling apart yet, so that's great. It lights up. Uh, the, the light surrounds this touchpad now. We don't have the giant, ugly fucking light bar on the top anymore, which is great. USB-C is nice. I'm, I'm looking forward to not having to replace micro USBs every five minutes. I can't speak much to the battery life yet because I only got it yesterday, but uh, it's it's been fine uh, so far. If you watch my video touring the UI, uh, you'll see that from the very beginning of the video, the controller was flashing, it was saying, hey, ch charge, charge me. And it lasted for about 40 minutes recording that video. So uh, getting 40 minutes from a dead controller uh, is, is pretty good. But we'll see over the next six or seven years uh, just how well this holds up. But for now, it's doing well. And uh, that's... That's good enough for me right now. What are your thoughts on the DualSense? If you have any questions about it, uh, leave them below and I'll, I'll try to get back to you. Uh, give us a rate, give us a subscribe. We're gonna have plenty more PS5 videos in the coming years. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Stay bad.